Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT Jam 2020. So we are here with this problem 32 of your paper. This problem 32 is a problem of analysis and it's a problem of section B that that means that it can happen that more than one option is correct. All right. So now let us have a look. If Sn is given by this and Tn is given by this, then summation Sn is absolutely convergent, summation Tn is absolutely convergent, it is conditionally and it is conditional. So that means from this statement what is clear that we have to check the con absolute and conditional convergence of the series summation Sn and summation Tn. All right. So uh, I will be showing you a few notes regarding this, then we will be uh, able to clear everything what we have to do. So see, I have written three notes for you and that will be sufficient to solve this question. So let us have a look. What note number, actu note number one actually tells us that summation un is absolutely convergent if summation mod un is convergent. So this is the definition for the absolute convergence of a series. Second one says summation un is conditionally convergent if summation un converges but summation mod un diverges. So what this this two of this this two number note suggests us that conditionally convergence actually means that summation un should diverge and summation un should converge all right so without modulus it should converge and with modulus it should diverge all right so this is very important third number says absolute convergence imply conditional convergence so it, it, it is it's very important so once you got that a series is absolutely convergent then it actually means that it cannot be conditionally convergent all right so uh, sorry I, I wrote it incorrectly i should erase this what i wanted to tell you is this that if 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 a series is absolutely convergent then it actually means that it's convergent all right so absolute convergence actually means that summation un will be convergent. So because of the note number two, you have that summation mod un diverges in the conditional convergence definition. So once you got that a series is absolutely convergent, so it cannot be conditionally convergent in that case. Are you getting my point or not? So now let us proceed using these three notes that we have written all right so now let us see what series do we have we have summation sn what is summation sn it's minus one to the power n by two to the power n plus three so this is your series all right so firstly what i will do i will calculate this so it will be summation 1 by 2 to the power n plus 3 i will be checking the absolute convergence so if i want to check whether this series is convergent or not i have to use limit comparison test what limit comparison test act actually suggests us uh, i will tell you while solving this so let us name this as summation un Okay, instead of writing mod Sn, what I am doing, I am considering mod Sn to be Un. So, what it actually tells us that if we have two series, summation Un and summation Vn, if we have two series and limit n goes to infinity, Un by Vn is a finite number L which is not equal to 0, then summation Un and summation Vn convergent or divergent together so it means that if we have two series and with this property then they converges or diverges together all right 
so for this one i will be using vn is equal to 1 by 2 to the power n now if vn is this then let us calculate limit n goes to infinity un by vn what is vn it's mod sn and what is mod sn it's 1 by 2 to the power n plus 3 and you have vn 1 by 2 to the power n that is why you will get 1 as your answer okay you can calculate it yourself take this as an exercise so this limit will be 1 so since limit is 1 therefore it's a non-zero number and finite number so we can say that summation un which is summation sn mod sn sorry converges or diverges with what with summation vn now what you can take as an exercise for you very easy exercise that summation 1 by 2 to the power n converges all right where n is varying between 0 to infinity why it converges it's actually a geometric progression and for a geometric progression if ratio is less than 1 then you know it's sum all right it's an infinite geometric progression it's an exercise for you to show that this converges all right although these things you don't have to do in exam because in the exam you already know if you are experienced enough you know that this converges therefore it's convergent all right it, it is taking time for me to explain everything but it's easy all right in the exam you will be able to do this question in just one or two minutes so see you have this convergent therefore by limit comparison test your summation mod sn is convergent all right so what is limit comparison test i have written here so this is limit comparison test so from this one what we can say a is correct now by using the definition of conditional convergence we can say that c is incorrect are you getting my point or not so now let us move to the b option and d option so what will be summation tn summation tn is summation minus 1 to the power n by 4n minus 1 i will be considering summation mod n initially because i will be checking absolute convergence so absolute convergence of what 4n minus 1 so we need to check whether this one converges or diverges so let us name it again as summation un I will be taking Vn is equal to what? I will be taking Vn is equal to 1 by n. So if Vn is 1 by n and your Un is this, then let us calculate limit n goes to infinity Un by Vn. So what it is? It's uh, 1 by 4 n minus 1 over 1 by n. So which is uh, 1 by 4. All right, you can take this as an exercise again as an exercise to calculate this limit. It's easy. So it's 1 by 4, which is a non-zero number. That means by using limit comparison test, we can again say that your series summation Tn, sorry, summation mod Tn converges or diverges with this series. All right. Now, what is exercise? is summation 1 by n diverges all right we know that this diverges is easy by what we know it's a p series what is p series we know that summation 1 by n to the power p converges if and only if p is greater than 1 we know this p series test now using p series test you can say that this diverges it's not exercise now because i already gave you the reason why it's divergent now since summation 1 by n is divergent that means summation un which is summation mod tn it's divergent so from here what we got that summation tn is not absolutely convergent so b option will be incorrect now we have to just check the d option uh, it is correct or not so for the d option we will be using a uh, Leibniz test or also Leibniz test is also known as alternating series test so i will be firstly defining the alternating series test for you what it says that if you have this summation minus 1 to the power n a n 
where a n is greater than 0, what alternating series mm, test tells us that if a n is monotonically decreasing and convergent to 0, then summation minus 1 to the power n a n converges. So, this test I am using, all right, converges. Now, in your case, you have a n is equal to what? 1 by 4 n minus 1. Now, if you will increase the n, your denominator will increase. Now, because your denominator is increasing, therefore, your a n should decrease. So, when you increase your n, your a n is decreasing. That means it's monotonically decreasing. If you will evaluate limit n goes to infinity, a n that is 1 by 4 n minus 1. So, it will be 1 by infinity. 1 by infinity means 0. So, from the Leibniz test, we can easily say that your series is convergent. All right. So, that is why D option is correct. So, that means A and D are the correct option and B and C are the incorrect one. So, it's taking time for me to explain everything. But while you were doing in the exam, you'd remember all these statements already. So, it will not take, I don't think that it will take more than two minutes in the exam. Alright. So, this is how you can solve it. Thank you.